A big number of people have this Friday turned up at Kampala Serena Hotel to participate in the memorial lecture of the late former Bank of Uganda Governor Professor Emmanuel Tumusimi Mtebide. President Yuri Museveni graced the event that was graced by who is who in the banking sector. The late Professor Mtebide was instrumental in helping government achieve monetary leverage through advising on the role of private sector controlling inflation, allowing exchange rates to find its level, resistance against economic cheap popularity and the health insurance scheme. That if you, if you maintain macroeconomic stability, then the private sector will be encouraged to, to, to invest and you will get growth. Yes, some of the people in the towns, in the uh, may respond positively. But Mr. Kaguta, my father, is he part of the private sector? Because I told Mr. Mr. Kaguta is not part of the private sector. He's part of the traditional sector. A country like Uganda, maybe some of the other countries, uh, you need to do more than using the uh, macroeconomic uh, uh, tools to make people wake up and be, become part of the money economy. The president cited parliamentary democracy which delayed Uganda to construct Bujagari power dam and impacted on the growth of the economy. He explained that Uganda's economy challenge now is how to eliminate the corruption. G GDP ratio of uh, 13 percent, what 14 percent uh, is really due to the corruption uh, in the Ministry of Finance and in the, in the URA, although we have changed, but there is a problem there. I've told them many times, uh, and I have uh, quite enough evidence to show them that there is a lot of under collection of, 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 of tax in. Uh, the, the, the IMF person was correct. All these new buildings, which, which are the real estate, real estate, there's a lot of under, under collection of, uh, of revenue, which is the corruption, corruption in the Ministry of Finance. And some of those people who were under Mutebile were not as clean. As Mutebide was. Professor Mutebide endowed staff of Bank of Uganda with a legacy of progressive policy making which has helped them navigate the shocks hitting Uganda's economy. Out us with the legacy of pedigree in courageous, pragmatic, and progressive policy making that has enabled the Bank of Uganda to successfully navigate the shocks hitting the economy in a world of radical uncertainty. The Director Africa Department at the International Monetary Fund, Dr. Abebe Selassie said, had Professor Emmanuel Mutabile been alive, he would have prioritized policies like aggressive domestic revenue, mobilization, and financial deepening to promote economic growth. The seventh president of the Africa Development Bank, Dr. Donald Kaberuka said the late would have insisted a lot about anchoring on the independence of the central bank and ensuring that all institutions coordinate closely. That if uh, Governor Mtebile was here, he would probably say, stay the cause, be consistent, don't be distracted by the crisis, manage them, manage them fairly, manage the structural transformation, work on the multilateral order, and then keep the discipline, and success is guaranteed. Is the Governor Central Bank of Kenya, Dr. Patrick Njoroge, said the lesson he learned from the late Motebide was to be aware of your own vulnerabilities and never throw away the credibility of the Central Bank. Conditions for the monetary union, etc., etc. And But under, understood that we cannot rush ahead with monetary union and should we say common currency and all those other things without the preconditions being satisfied. I'm Navka Farida and Stephen Kalisia in Kampala.